Anyway, so as I was saying previously before my video got interrupted by someone that's in my phone and wanting to control the narrative, but it ain't working. Anyways, whatever magic they've been doing, it's not working. It's backfire immensely. Someone will be going to the hospital. Someone will be passing away. Someone will end up in a car crash because this is the energy you all have been putting out. Um, there's a queen of wands that may be coming towards you to apologize. It's not a sincere apology. Someone is living in fear of the repercussions of their in, uh, actions. So this is why they may be r rushing to come towards you or they may be calling you, communicating with you because something has backfired horribly. Someone may have summoned some type of entity or demonic, uh, whatever, energy. Uh, the only thing is that some of you, your ancestors out here, there are the ones in the light and the ones that are in the dark. So someone may have summoned your ancestor of the dark to do you something and it backfired horribly. So whatever it is these people are up to, maybe it's a lot of people out here that want to apologize to you and they can't because you don't care. Like myself here, we don't be caring about your apology. You can take that and stick it up where the sun doesn't shine, but keep it to yourself. Keep it over there. As long as you keep it to yourself, listen, when you put it up where the sun doesn't shine, it's still with you. So stay over there with it. As far as I'm concerned, on my end of the track, the rest of you light workers, I don't think you give two fucks. <laughs> Excuse my language. I tell you, I came out of my cocoon. The rest of you don't give two hits about people apologizing to you. You just want these people to leave you alone and move on. But whatever black magic these people have been doing, they may have even been coming out after someone's twin flame who is a king of cups. It backfired too. So, like these twin flames, these soul unions, people are not playing about them, in, them anymore. The universe is not playing. I'm telling you, the universe ain't playing. The universe is out here supporting. And these people that are out here doing these black magics and stuff, they are way down burden. And still wanting to take action to temper with karma. So they're going to keep dropping like flies. I'll tell you, I went to, I uh, went for a walk a couple of days ago. And obviously this is the time of the year when the bees will be coming out of their, you know, hives and things like that. Um, they'll be flying around to pollinate the flowers and things like that. They're feeding, right? And taking stuff back to their hive. But when I tell you just about every bee we saw was dead on the ground. So it lets me know there's a pack of people, a COVID, whatever, members of this COVID is about to be dropping like flies or dropping like bees in this situation. So keep up, keep up those uh, dark spells, the rituals is just going to keep backfiring onto you all. Everything you intend for us, past, present, future, all evil and negative intent, all spell works, return to sender, past, present, future, permanently, forever, honey. Um, so these people are afraid about reaching out to you because what their lives are in chaos. You may have a king of wands out here that wants to reach out to talk to a king of pentacles about some type of spell work against a king of cups that's backfire. It's not going according to plan. They've been uh, plotting on this man for a long time because he's wishing to have some type of meeting with his twin flame and he will be taking action or something like that. Uh, I don't think this is someone you know. You may not be aware of them. I'm going to try not to talk too much about your twin flame because we don't need any uh, business being out about him, exposing too much information. Let's let him keep his privacy. But whatever these people are into, all their plots, all their plans, all their lies, trying to trap this man in something. They're trying to trap him to end him so he cannot go forward to give an option. And they're trying to keep this man in some type of anxious state. Have him living in fear to block him from taking a new path because this new path is going to lead to abundance. But they want him to feel like he's going to be left out in the cold, rejected and things like that. And he won't be having some type of equal give or take. It will absolutely, absolutely work out, sir, if you take the initiative to uh, reconcile or to connect with your twin flame, your higher level soulmate, whatever this is, but you need to move on from this toxic, whatever this is that you are in. Just know that the people around you are plotting on you and they're trying to cause you a tower. Like they're trying to cause some type of dramatic event, some type of dramatic tower, right? So that you cannot get to your destination. These people are desperate out here, okay? Because they don't want you receiving, I mean, they don't want you giving an offer to someone right? Because they know what is going to be successful. 
there's a queen of swords and there's some type of ending coming for you i'm not going to get into it i know you're burning behind the scenes you're still trying to further this narrative this collaboration and they just want to come back to bite you in the behind i know you have a mental illness i'm telling you you have a mental illness you got a mental illness you're like um you got a mental illness. You lie a lot. You're losing your emotions behind the scenes. There's something you, I'm telling you, you, you're losing your emotions behind the scenes. You're losing it. There's something you plotted. You could be the one that orchestrated a dark magic against someone so that they could just go to sleep and not wake up again. It didn't work out. The bullet came back towards you. Oh, that's justice. Um, but you are losing your SHIT behind the scenes. There go the three witches. <laughs> There go the three witches hoping and praying that they can end someone, lay someone down. They're coming up with a new plan, honey, you know, how they can imbalance justice, right, and have someone out here disappointed. It ain't going to work. <laughs> so the three witches are at it again. Twiddle D, Twiddle Dumb, and Twiddle Dumber. <laughs> uh. The three witches are at it again. They've been at it. Some of, you, some of you, you may have a neighbor that some of these people know that they've hired to do some type of work against you. Don't worry. She's, she, he is going to have to walk away because there's an ending coming for them too. There's maybe someone that thinks that they're a practitioner or something. It's the end of the road. Mm. Listen, <laughs> be cautious because there is a, 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 listen, there is a, someone being sent towards you. To give you some type of offer just so they can end you. But they're gonna take some type of quick action to do you something. <laughs> it ain't gonna work, but this is what they're planning to do now. They're gonna send in a lover boy. Say, hey, go on in, give her this offer, and then we need you to offer. <laughs> This still cannot connect since she does not want to be with me. She don't want to be with me. We need to end her. Because <laughs> she sounds like a sissy. Because this is what sissies do. Real men don't move like this. If a woman don't want you, what, you, what do you do? Real men, you move on. <laughs> Give your offer to someone else. Nah, not this sissy of a king of wands. <laughs> yeah. Nah, he's sending someone else in. He said, hey, hey, I need y'all to send this person in so he can give her some type of new beginning. Start over with her. Give her, get her all hopeful and things like that. And as soon as she's relaxing, she lets her guard down. I slice her. <laughs> if they don't do it, he said he's going to do it himself. You got people wanting to apologize to you because the truth is out. But these people, you're saying you don't want no apology from them or you don't seem to want an apology from these people. I don't blame you. I would be the same way. It's a king of wands in here that's impulsive as heck. Dramatic as heck. Wants to force a relationship between you and him. It's a false offer, by the way. Um, it's not happening. They've been lying a lot. There's something where it's like the truth is exposed. Someone is not high vibrational. There's something going on with a king of wands, and I just don't know what the heck it is. But there's something about this man that's very insincere. Uh, someone may be going through some type of healing, or they were supposed to be on a healing journey, and they're refusing to embark on that journey. But someone may want to apologize. I don't know if they're trying to apologize to a king of pentacles for lying about a king of cups or something like that. It's too much going on. It's too many masculines. We got the king of wands out here. We got the freaking king of pentacles, the king of cups, the devil is out here. Somebody is telling a lie. Someone may have lied and said that they had a victory with you. Someone may have lied and said that they had a one night stand with you. Never did, never will. Okay. Never have, never will. But they may have said that they had something with you and it's being exposed as a lie. Okay, there could be another king of cups in here. This would be maybe your twin flame you've never met before. Things will be balanced out. You two will have fulfillment in life. But right now, this whole drama has to play out. Apart from this, man, you have those three witches, the three Scrooges. <laughs> oh, Lord. Everything they do is backfiring, so they're out here hanging in limbo. He said, please, 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 please don't let me pass away. Please, 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 please. Girl, I don't know what to tell you. It's the end of the road. Mm. It's the end. Oh, there's a king. Yeah, there go the three witches. 
There goes the three witches. There goes the three witches, the king, the queen of cups, queen of wands, and the queen of pentacles, all going through endings. They've invested so much time into causing a tower and getting someone to walk away <laughs> from an empress. It said, we need you to reject that empress. We need to go in and tell that empress, blah, 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 blah. And she's going to reject him when he comes in to give her an offer. The whole time the empress knows the truth. <laughs> the three witches were at it last night. They were in a dream, in someone's dream, trying to unalive you. But they got to move on. Someone in this group will be passing away. Absolutely. Oh, dramatic event taking place. Someone will be passing away. And it's going to put an end to this cycle. Someone may not even want to close their eyes. Is said no. I don't want to go to sleep. I'm going to drink some coffee. I got to stay up. <laughs> How long is that going to last? <laughs> How long are you not going to go to sleep? This is why you can't be out here just throwing any kind of negative energy to people. You don't know who it is you're coming after. You all think because you've been doing magic for 30 years. You've been doing it for 10 years. You've been doing it for 50 years. You're the head honcho and you can do whatever you want to anybody. There's a man out here been playing three women like a bunch of dummies because that's what they are. Twitter D, Twitter dummy, and Twitter dumber. They've been getting online to harass practitioners trying to prove that they are... Uh, uh, um, better witches than the practitioners practitioners aren't, aren't out here to be better witches they're out here to help and raise the vibration of the mass they don't care about any of that but these three witches baby their little playground magic ain't doing nothing you know you ain't a real witch when you got to go to a practitioner to do your work that should let you know automatically that you are not a witch okay you know you're not a real witch when you got to pretend to be in the upright. You got to pretend to be uh, uh, orthodox. You got to pretend to be religious. But behind the scenes, you are doing a whole lot of manipulation. You ain't a real witch. You could be a dark witch, but you can't be that powerful if you got to pretend not to be. <laughs> it's the clownery for me. It's the foolishery for me. If you gotta pretend not to be a witch, you're probably not a witch. If you gotta be, if you gotta pretend to be a witch, you're probably not a witch. You ain't. You don't got no gifts. <laughs> ah, it's tumbleweeds up in this place when it comes to how many gifts she has. Tumbleweeds. <laughs> you know what the tumbleweeds like? If they uh tumble by in the movies in the desert and the wind blows <laughs> no gifts activated nowhere <laughs> so now she don't win and partner up with the three other with the other witches that don't got no gifts they don't conjure up something with the help of a practitioner and yeah they went to a practitioner to help them it don't backfire horribly now they want to apologize because they're trying to minimize the karma but you see them coming from a distance. There's a queen of wands that's desperate to come to talk to you. I just want you to know, I'm so sorry. I didn't know what the heck was going on. I, I just want you to know, I always would, I always really liked you. I really think you're genuine. Okay, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I did it. It was a mistake. Girl, we don't care about none of that. Take that sucker and stick it up where the sun does shine, cause we don't care. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> so on this King of Cups side, your your twin flame, whoever you are, he has a bunch of masculines and probably family members and friends that are up against him trying to block him, lying to him and everything about who you are or what the heck is going to happen if he takes that leap of faith. That is going to be very disappointing, right? And then on your end, you got three witches and a group of other people sending you energy to end you. But they're the ones going through the endings because the spell works have backfired. Baby, it's too much going on, but it's all for entertainment purposes on a grand scale level. On a cosmic level, the universe is sitting back and watching these people entertain every... Yeah, entertain. They're the center of those shows that carry on. 
pull on the show. How many acts do you have? We want to see. We want to know. Be bold about it. <laughs> Make sure it's entertaining and it makes us happy. <laughs> Because you got a whole audience that wants to watch. <laughs> Baby, it's a whole entertainment. They don't even know. Someone is, like, there's a group crying. There's someone crying behind the scenes. This is a few women. The Queen of Pentacles is crying. The Queen of Wands is crying. The Queen of Cups is in fear. There's a Queen of Swords that's crying as well. And they're just pissed off because two people are still destined to come together. And they may not even be who it is that they think they, it's like they're trying to block one man from connecting with a feminine, but the whole time the man they're blocking don't got nothing to do with that feminine's life. Like, there's a whole different person outside of the equation. <clears throat> they're supposed to be giving her options. <laughs> the mental... <laughs> it's the mindset. <laughs> it's the short circuit, circuit for me. <laughs> it's the desperation for me. <laughs> It's the incompetence for me. <laughs> it's the playground magic for me. Lord have mercy. I said three witches and the queen of pentacles came out. The queen of cups came out and the queen of wands. And guess what, folks? <laughs> you won't believe this. I don't shuffle the deck and they're still together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And still thinking, trying to stay calm and still trying to come up with ways <laughs> on how they can stop two people from coming together. Oh, yeah, they said we got to stop this. We got to block this. We got to come up with a way on how to block them from coming together. I'm going to go in. I'm going to steal her gifts. I'm going to go in. I'm going to steal his gift. Your higher level soul, may whoever this is, he may be a dangerous mama jamma. And he probably got these people way down, living in fear. They said, hey, no, 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 no. We wanted you, sir. We wanted you living in fear. He said, no, 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 no. I'm sending that back to you. That's not my energy. I got better things to think about. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. I don't got nothing to worry about. <laughs> you can take that energy of fear and anxiety and keep it to yourself. I don't want it. I don't got nothing to do with me. I'm covered. Lord have mercy. The apology is rejected. Someone may be sending a, a, a message about how the spell work backfire is not going according to plan the practitioner they hire has left them out in the cold the practitioner said i don't want nothing to do with this you're all defeated uh-uh but there's someone in here still wanting to keep going baby they said they're going to keep going to the very end even though they're way down all these people are way down behind the scenes you got a king of pentacles out here that may be wishing to bring things to a halt he said you know what this has been going on for too long i'm tired i'm tired i don't lost a lot of money a lot of time a lot of energy that i ain't getting back he knows the truth now he started to listen to his intuition he said uh-uh you know what? No, 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 no. And then you got a, uh, uh, someone out here lying as well, talking about, I have victory with her. I have victory with him. I defeat. No, you didn't. You're a lie. You're a bullfaced lie. And there's a king of uh, cups in here trying to move things in his direction and still put it in. Like, they're all karmics. They're all karmics. They're all karmics. <laughs> and they're all living in denial. <laughs> denial is a river in Egypt. We don't know where these people stay, but they are in denial. Okay. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my Lord. It's the endings for me. It's the deaths for me. It's the failure for me, but still being persistent to make something go in their favor. All worry behind the scenes. I'm telling you, all worry behind the scenes. Do, do you think they know? Do you think they know it's us? What's going to happen to us that we're going to pass away? I got to call her. I got to call him and apologize that I never meant to do what I did. You did. They're worried. I'm telling you, they're burdened. Burden as heck behind the scenes. Because someone went all out. It's a family, a group of people, a couple that just went all out. 
to take someone out or take two people out and it's disappointment for them. These two are still moving forward and still will be married. Oh Lord, honey, it, it ain't looking good in Carmichael. It, it ain't looking good in Carmichael. It ain't looking good. It ain't looking good. I'm telling you, it's not looking good. Dang. Double on that, not looking good. Quadruple on that, not looking good. Someone's about to pass away. It ain't no joke, but if it don't happen to them, it's you. Because this is what they want to happen to you. They said, we want her out of here. We want him out of here. Spirit said, I think not. No, you out of here. You come, come on, come on back home. Come on, you know what? You've been down there long enough. Come on back. Come, come on back. You don't got nothing else to worry about. You, you is just going to go to sleep. You is going to go to the place of rest. Sleep for a thousand years. When you wake up, we'll try this rodeo again. But right now, it is time to come back home. Let's come back home. <laughs> it's been a long day <laughs> without you, my friend. <laughs> Not tell you all about it. When I see you again, it's been a long <laughs> Oh, Lord, I'm trying not to laugh, but it's so funny. It's like they put death energy out there for someone, and they can right back to them. This group is about to go from celebrating, baby, to laying someone to rest. It said, farewell, farewell. <laughs> farewell. Uh, it's a farewell. We've come a long way from where we began. Again. And I tell you uh, about it when I see you again. Yeah, you're going to see them on the other side. You're on your own. Everyone for themselves from now on because, baby, there's karma that's coming. <laughs> and after you are done going through all this karma and your life is in havoc. Your lives are in havoc. Excuse me. Just look at this. Look at these two meeting and having their new beginning. Look at him still seeing her as wish fulfillment. He said, mm, that's my twin. That's my twin right there. Twin, you did your thing. And then the woman that said, twin, you did your thing. These two are probably, spiritually, these two are connected. And they're probably sitting back and watching people like, I bet you, you better quit messing with her. You better quit messing with him before I hang you a little, before I hinder you. They may even be doing that on each other's behalf, and these people don't know. Like these two, this the the the, mm. the soulmates these people are coming after. These are people that pour into each other. They say, "Oh, you know, help! I'll help you fix that." Oh, you're bothered by that little inf insecurity. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. These are people that pour into each other. They they heal people. They are creators. Okay. Like, these people are so intelligent, it's ridiculous. They communicate on a spiritual, on a telepathic level. You need to take responsibility. I know this is a word you all don't like in Carmichael, accountability. Ah! I know it's taboo, it's taboo. Let's not say that. Don't say it. Don't say it. Cynthia, don't say it. Accountability. I'll try not to say it so loud. You got to take accountability. Again, the perfection came out. These people, they see each other as perfection. It ain't nothing you can do or say that's going to change their mind about each other. You see that woman right there uh, uh, helping that man heal? That means there's a lot that man has endure and people have done nothing but tear him down. And this woman right here is coming in to help him heal. She said, it's okay, baby. I got you. I got you. I got you. And you see how focused she is. She's molding him, but she ain't pouring no darkness or nothing like that in him. Let me bring it closer so you karmics can see. You see how that woman, she is molding that man. Okay? She said, it's okay. Let go of all of your past wounds. Let go of all your hurt." Let go of all your disappointments. Don't carry those baggages with you in life. Because that's how the enemy keeps control of you. I'll help you heal. I'll help you move on. I'll help you balance yourself out. 
see things from a higher perspective. I'll heal your wounds. You see that? And what do you see under here, baby? He <laughs> light. This is a whole earth angel healing this man. Something none of you could do. This man had a karmic in his life that would talk down to him, I bet you. Oh, yeah, taking him to new heights. Uh-huh. So he, there's a karmic that used to talk down to this man more than likely. Was using him in all kinds of stuff. And he may have been in some type of self-sabotaging energy. And now he's coming out of that because someone has awakened something in him that has been asleep for a long time. And he's reaching new heights. Right? Finding the answers that he never had before. And he knows this woman is not going to judge him for his flaws because everybody has them. Even her. Everybody is flawed. So, but the difference between this woman, whoever he's supposed to be with, is that she lives with no regrets. And she's going to teach him how to live with no regrets. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, uh-uh. I ain't reading the whole deck. No, 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 no. I ain't. Nah. Baby, these people are desperate, desperate out here. He said, you go in, you give her an offer, she's going to take it. Nope, she said she ain't doing it. You go in, you give her an offer, she'll accept that she don't know you were part of this. She does. You go in. She's never met you before, so she'll think it's you. No, 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 no. She's seen him in a dream. We can't, we, we can't do that. Well, then let's go in on a live her. No, we can't do that. It's going to backfire because, baby, if we try that, our whole lineage is in trouble. We don't want no problems because I don't know what lineage this sucker is from. They're dangerous. Uh-huh. And baby, huh? Miss High Priestess, Earth Angel, Empress Energy, if you are a practitioner, whatever work you're doing, you're about to be overbooked. Look at you, 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 look at you. Somebody's ancestor is ancestors are uh <laughs> lethal. When they touch you, the other day was the other day in someone's life was just tip her and it's a wrecking ball. This Queen of Wands here, yeah, they just tipped her and it's a what? He he he! I show you guys, <laughs> it's a wrecking ball. She can hold it. There's something she thought she could withstand. She can't do it no more. The backfire is too much. Her sister is losing a lot behind the scenes. It's too much. It's too much. Mm. Baby. You'll do well, Queen of Wands, to heed to the words of wisdom. You may want to move on because it ain't going to get no better for you. I know there's a narcissist amongst you all, that Queen of Swords that want to keep going. Uh -huh. Sister, Queen of Wands, cut your losses and move on. This is the wisdom I'm being guided to give you because if you're done, you're going to be in your grave. You're going to be in your grave. You don't want to have to work for anything. You want things to be handed to you. It's your problem. Go work for what it is you want. If you quit this nonsense right now and go to school, get the educations that you, the education and credit that you need, right? The credentials that you need to be in the field you want to be in, baby, you're going to be successful. But you're out here acting a fool for a man that ain't never, and honey, never. Even if you don't go to the woman that you are trying to go after, he ain't coming back to you. It's done. So do you, you, heard, you know how Beyonce said the best revenge is your paper? Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching, folks. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.